begin by applying moisturizers. This is important so it protects your skin from all the special effects product we'll be applying. You should also apply this sort of over all of the exposed skin as well because it just helps to um, stop your skin getting infected or irritating your skin as much and it won't you know, stop the makeup from getting in your pores and giving you lots of spots. I'm also brushing my hair um, down and then applying a wig cap to get easy access to my face and any other areas just because otherwise I can get latex in my hair and latex and hair do not mix. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to take a very cheap white face paint on a normal face painting regular sponge and just start by dotting this all over my face, neck, ears and exposed skin. For the sake of this tutorial I'm only painting some of my face and body. And what this is going to do is this is going to help as a barrier for the um, prosthetics we'll be applying later and it'll also help to blend it in as well in a little while. Then I'm taking some grey eyeshadows on a powder brush and using this to set my makeup rather than using baby powder for once. I'm doing this just because it will help to um, give some nice texture colour. So you can watch my video on how to make this appliance by clicking the annotation. And then what I'm going to do is taking some spirit gum. Make sure you have the remover if you're going to use this. You can also use Prosaid. Um, put this around my nose. Wait 30 seconds for it to become tacky and then apply the prosthetic to my nose. You may have to stuff some cotton wool in some of the bits that are at the top teeth part that's hanging off of the tip of my nose, but this is up to you. And then hold it on for a few seconds to allow the glue to become stuck, and then take some liquid latex, some toilet roll, and a Q-tip. I begin to start applying this uh, all around the prosthetic to help blend into my skin, and also create the elongated neck effect that the spitter has. <laughs> You should repeat this all the way around the appliance. <laughs> I did have to refill the latex cap a few times which I used to hold the latex in just because it's easier. And if you use this in a bowl it would be good too because simply you can just leave the latex to dry and then peel it out of the bowl later. Then, using the same method as before, I'm applying a broken nose or sort of mashed up nose sort of idea of a, an appliance and I'm sticking it on the top of my nose. I forgot to do this at the start, but cover your eyebrows using a um, regular glue stick. I'm going to do a tutorial detailed one about how to do this, but all I'm doing is just doing this to flatten my brows down and protect it from any liquid latex that might get into them and rip them out. taking a black aqua colour face paint and applying this around the rims of my eyes and sort of loosely filling this in. Repeat this on both of your eyes and the great thing about this is you don't have to be symmetrical. <laughs> Don't worry too much if you go over your eyebrows just because zombies don't tend to have eyebrows. I don't know whether you've noticed that in films and stuff. Then taking a black eyeshadow powder whatever, apply this over it to set the face paint. Then I'm taking a black eyeliner and filling in any gaps that the face paint couldn't fill, such as both my water lines, right underneath my eyes, etc. And then I'm taking some blow and red cream makeup or grease paint, whatever you want to call it, and applying this around the rims of my eyes to give some more dimension. Then taking a red grease paint, I'm dotting this on the top of my right eyebrow and then blending some yellow around this. I'm doing this because that's what I saw in the reference picture I was using. I don't know whether it's an injury because I've never played Left 4 Dead before. But yeah, I'm just trying to create some spitters key features. And trust me, with cream and grease paint, the best blending tool is your fingers. Then I'm taking an angle brush and some black shadow and then making some frown lines on my forehead. <laughs> Then 
Then I'm sort of blending those quite loosely. Not too much though. To colour around the prosthetic I'm taking a cosmetic wedge and some of the grease paints and just sort of dotting this quite randomly around the latex and tissue that we applied earlier and some onto my skin as well. This is just going to help blend the colour in a little bit better and um, sort of make it look a little more realistic and a bit bloody and a bit bruised and a bit disgusting. Now don't worry if the latex sort of bunched up and stuff because zombies don't have perfectly smooth baby skin. They've got pretty nasty skin. Now for me, the easiest way to recreate the um, spitter's stomach acid or goo, whatever you want to call it, I took some Vaseline and a tiny, tiny amount of green grease paint and mixed it on the end of a brush on a plate. Now, a little bit of grease paint goes a long way and I made that tiny bit of grease paint into all that Vaseline and then just start to spread it inside of the throat area and then let some sort of spoo out a bit because she's been walking around spitting her goo at everyone. <laughs> If you're going to be wearing this to a convention or as a Halloween costume or at work or something, I don't know, make sure you cover your rest of your body too. I'm just using red grease paint to make my elbows and knees look really bruised, like I've been crawling around on them a bit. And then I added some green to the rest of my body and other assorted colours too, just to help add on to the effect and sort of blend everything together. Just so my body doesn't look human than my face. The finishing touches you can apply are a wig. Now I started to pin this up a bit as well, but then I realised, hey, why am I pinning this up too much? I'm a zombie, I don't have time to do my hair and such. So I just tied it in a pigtails, not pigtails, ponytails like she did. And then I have an annotation of how to apply special effects lenses. I didn't have any yellow ones, so I used what I had, which was a red and white one. And then you're done. Mm.